Welcome back, my ghouls and ghoulettes. I have another series of true dogman encounters. It's not for the faint of heart. Uh, featuring a special guest, Lady Spookaria. She's a good friend. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to her channel if you enjoy her. Let's get on with the show. Spring of 2012. My wife and I are driving back from visiting family. The drive to get to them is quite long like eight or so hours. And so it's pretty early on in the AM. I'd say maybe 2 AM. We were only an hour or so away from home at the time. We're coming up to a bend in the road when our headlights illuminate this wolf-like creature, crouched down on the side of the road, just staring off. I noticed a wolf-like face with tall, pointed ears. My wife was asleep and I remember gasping and swerving the car as far away from this thing as I could but was rather large. I would estimate it to be around 8 feet tall, if not more. The sudden swerving of the vehicle woke my wife up and she asked me what I was doing. I told her there was some huge animal on the side of the road and didn't want to hit it. Thankfully, my wife never had to see it. Then, fast forward almost 9 months later and my wife and I are coming home again from going out from running errands or something. I can't quite remember what we were doing at the time, but it was maybe 8 p.m. at night. I remember it wasn't super late, but since this time it was in the winter, it was dark early, so maybe my perception of what I remember to be late is off. Anyway, at this point, we're in an entirely different area of town from where I saw the wolf thing last. The way we were coming back to the house, you have to go through a two mile stretch of this lone road with lots of woods and brush on one side, with the other side being more open, undeveloped land. We're driving this road, hadn't been on it for maybe a minute, and this large black shape runs out of the brush on our left and chases our car. My wife and I both panic and I floor the car. As I'm gaining speed rapidly, this thing catches up to our vehicle and then darts off back into the brush. My wife is freaking out. Heck, I'm freaking out. This was some werewolf looking creature chasing our car. I should note that there were street lights on this road. So there, me and my wife got a decent look at this being, even though it only chased our vehicle for probably 20 to 30 seconds at most. I'll describe it for you. It was black and gray and looked shaggy. It had a wolf like face and snout and large teeth. Didn't see anything with the eyes or much else. It also looked different from the wolf creature I saw nine months prior to driving home. Similar but different looking. The wife and I try and forget about it as best as we can. We must take that long stretch of the road home any time we want to go to a specific way to town. Fortunately for us, we haven't encountered it since those times. This sighting happened to me back in 1981, and in Northern California. If I remember right, I think I was either 11 or 12 at the time, and we lived on some property with acreage out in the middle of nowhere. There is alfalfa fields all around where we lived. Our driveway is very long. I want to say at least five to 600 yards extended out from our house to the road with alfalfa fields on both sides. Now right around the pathway there are quite a few trees, big fir trees to be exact. There is one evening I was taking the trash cans out to the very end of the driveway, just dragging them. It's a huge pain in the ass, but I had to do it every week. Anyway, I got both cans to the end of the driveway, and as I started walking back towards the house, I immediately felt danger, like something was watching me. For whatever reason, I don't know if it was instinct, or like this creature wanted me to know it was there, but I just happened to look up to my left in the fir tree, and in the fir tree, on a branch, was this wolf hyena creature. I don't know how else to describe it. The face looked very much like a hyena with a wolf. As soon as I looked at it, it was looking right at me already. It slowly opened its mouth and growled slowly at me. Apparently. It wasn't too fond of me discovering it was there. After about three seconds, it jumped from the tree onto the road 
and jumped to the other side of the road, where there was nothing but thicket. It was dusk out since it was the evening, so the only real thing I saw was how large it was. It was dark in color, maybe like dark brown. It looks like it had somewhat of a mane, but it was hard to tell any specific details with the way it was holding onto the branch. The branch was underneath, was a huge thick branch, and it was part of one of the lower branches that was roughly 20 feet up. I'm still baffled how that tree held on to such a large animal, and I have no idea what it was. I ran back to my house after seeing it, fearing it would chase me, but it never did. I never did tell my parents about what I saw. I live about an hour away from South Bend, Indiana. I didn't see anything, but I did hear something a few years back that I still can't explain to this day. I live in the country. I know what deer, coyotes, wolverines, possums, and raccoons, you name it, sound like. This was like a deep gurgling growl, and then a high and low pitch, at the same time howl, right after. It was directly next to us in the field. It was around 3 a.m., and we were on our bikes down a back road. The other side of the road had a field, but also woods. I knew right away we needed to get the fuck out of there. I spent a year listening to animal noises, and the closest I got was a mountain lion growl, except with gurgling, followed by that howl. The following night, my ex went into the backyard to burn a few things and took our two dogs with us. We live about a mile from that road. He came running inside with the dogs, pale as a ghost. He said there was something huge and dark in the fields, or the wooded area, and the dogs were growling. The dogs wouldn't go back outside that night. My one and only encounter with a dog man, or so I would call it, was back in 2011 when I was 16. I live kind of out in the middle of nowhere in Ohio, and it's a rural area out there. I think the closest neighbor is probably a mile, and there's a lot of woods around our land, but I've never had an issue with that before. Anyway, it was a school night and I was playing some video games before I went to bed, so this was probably roughly 9.30 if I remember correctly. My room isn't the largest and I have a window that's right next to my TV so I could see directly out my back window as I'm looking at my TV. So I'm sitting there and I'm playing my Xbox 360 and I have a pretty normal 5 feet off the ground window and the curtains are open and it's pitch black outside. I see two large ears pop up. At this point, I'm only half paying attention because I'm like, what the fuck? Did some large dog wander by our yard? And then not even a couple seconds later, the whole head pops up in perfect view. At this point I scream like a little girl. This was a huge looking wolf like face with a massive head that took up almost the entire span of my window. It had the most terrifying look of amber eyes and it was baring its teeth. I think what blew me away the most was how big its teeth were and that they seemed to stick out of its mouth even when this thing had its mouth closed closest I can resemble it to is a saber-toothed tiger. It wasn't making any noise, but after I screamed and stared at it for a few seconds, I ran out of my room and ran to my parents to let them know there was some sort of evil dog outside my window. My dad thought it was some animal, so he grabbed his rifle and went to check the situation out. But there was no tracks or any signs of any animal had been outside my window. I now keep my curtains closed, for the most part. My encounter takes place back when I was 19. When I was a little younger than that, my parents split up in a really nasty divorce but always stayed about five or so miles within each other so me and my brother would be able to go back and forth and maintain a good relationship with both parents. We lived in a smaller town so a lot of the times we would just walk to the other parents house. One of the most popular ways we would do this is walk the dike to my dad's house. To give you a little bit of a layout, there's a dike that runs all the way up to the upper part of town where my mom is to the lower part which is a few miles away. 
Now you can take this little pathway which is right next to train tracks and a river. This pathway is called a dike and as you're walking it there's about a 20 foot clearing on your left hand side followed by woods. On your right hand side is a little bit of a drop off by maybe 5 or 7 feet followed by some train tracks followed by more brush followed by the river bank. This pathway is long and extends for a few miles and there's only seldom few street lights that are out here. On this night, me and my brother who are 19 and 16 at the time are walking from my mother's to my father's down this dike. It's roughly around 8 p.m. If I remember correctly, it was dark out, so it wasn't summertime, not yet. Keep in mind we're the only ones out walking this right now and this is a common thing for us since we walk this dike often. On this night though, we were walking and we start hearing some strange noises by the riverbank. It's not really that uncommon. Sometimes homeless people and younger kids like to go down there and drink and party, so we didn't really think anything of it. But the noises we did hear sounded like a horse or something that large was trapped and trying to get out or something like that. I really don't know how else to describe it. It was just very strange but all I can make out was that whatever was making that noise was huge. Again, I kept walking and didn't really think too much of it. Until about 50 or so feet away, this large thing runs up from the train tracks all the way to the dike, right underneath the street light. It ran up on all fours and as soon as it gets on the pathway, it stood up on two legs and looked directly at me and my brother's direction. At this point, me and him stopped dead in our tracks and practically pissed ourselves. My brother just stood there and screamed werewolf in an almost cry whimper. I stayed dead silent watching this thing. It stood there for about a moment and just stared at me and my brother. After what felt like an eternity, it took one or two leaps and jumped into the wooded area to our left. This thing was enormous. At first I thought it was a wolf or something, but then as soon as it climbed onto the path, it was the largest dog I'd ever seen. Then once it stepped up, I didn't even know what to think, or anything other than a werewolf. It wasn't super ripped, but it was pretty lean. I remember its more slender, tapered off waist. I did see a tail. The head was very large and looked very wolf-like. I could see pretty much under the light that it had pretty dark brown hair with certain streak patterns that were quite unique. The scariest thing about it though was the way it looked at us. It didn't snarl. It had a sinister smile on its face like it wanted us to come to it so it could do evil to us. Its eyes were almost a piercing red even though it only stood there and glared at us into our soul for probably not even 10 seconds but it felt like forever. As soon as it turned its head and left into the wood line, me and my brother sprinted towards my dad's house and got there and told him what we had saw. But of course, he didn't believe it. He just thought we saw some homeless person or something. Of course, leave it to mom and dad to never believe what you have to say. Me and my brother, to this day, don't talk about it. And we just like to pretend that it didn't ever exist. That, to me, feels like the easiest way to cope. I need to give you some details first so the full story makes sense. I met the love of my life four years ago when I started dating my now current wife on Instagram. We met, headed off, one thing led to another and now we're married. I lived in Colorado Springs at the time and my now wife lived in Livingston, Tennessee at the time. She lived a little bit north of Livingston, to be exact. I had made a trip out to see her in June and planned a five-day trip. I wanted her to show me around the area, look for great sights to see and places to hike. I had never been to Tennessee, so it was a wonderful first for me. Besides this experience, well, this is more like my girlfriend's experience than my own. 
This encounter happened in June of 2016. I can't remember the day we were driving around, but I was driving her Kia Soul around up north. We were exploring different areas. My wife wanted to take me to the Willow Grove Recreational Area, just off Dale Hollow Lake. Let me remind you that this was about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Sun was bright, weather was crystal clear. There was nothing prohibiting visibility at all. I remember it clearly. We were driving on Willow Grove Highway, aka Highway 294. It's packed with beautiful countryside and thick trees all around you. I loved it. There's a lot of ridges and hilled pastures in that area that just go on. There was a segment of the road that was just off to the right. The passenger side had a larger ridge that went up. It was partially pasture. The ridge at least was, and beyond it was woodline. My wife was in the passenger seat and I was driving. My wife is looking out the window when I hear her gasp and then start screaming. She became frenzied and hysterical. She demanded I pull over and worked herself up so much she vomited. I was freaking out, wanting to know what was going on. I finally had gotten her calmed down enough that she was able to tell me what she saw. Bursting out of the wood line, heading up the ridge, the ridge was parallel to the road, was a doe followed by this ugly wolf creature that was bigger than Conan the Barbarian. It was towering over this doe, so it had to be double the size of me. She said it had Doberman pincher-like ears, a large snout, and was blacker than the blackest of black she had ever seen. It chased the doe so fast into the woods up the ridge, she was just in total shock at what she saw. I didn't know what to believe when she first told me that. Trying to comfort her, I informed her she must have been seeing things. She really insists on what she saw and had a few seconds enough to look at it. She's not going to forget what she saw. I guess her dad has had problems with those things on the ranch he worked on. That was just a little more north than where we were. This was years ago he told her about that but told her that the ranch had werewolves running amok and killing cattle. My girlfriend thinking her dad would always be joking and not serious. Anyway, she just took it lightly. Her father is a very stoic man. If you meet him, he has one emotion. Neutral. All the time. My wife isn't the type to make this stuff up either. I've also never seen her so visibly shaken before in my life, either. She really must have seen what she did. I tried to do a bit of research, but all I could ever find is something called Dogman, which I have no idea if that has anything to do with what she saw. I mean, it kind of matches the description, so that's why I reached out. I know nothing of creatures and things that aren't supposed to exist. Maybe you can tell me what she really saw. She doesn't like to talk about it to this day. Sometimes when I try and pry information about it, she just gets quiet. Can you blame her? <laughs>